So here we have the workbook for Sarah Khan's Heart Breathing's Word Sprint channel, which I'm starting tomorrow. This is on the Sunday. And this is just a workbook you get when you can download and print out for those that want to. And it's just a little talk and then explains what the schedule is. Now, the one in the morning, the Monday morning, I'll not be able to do because I'm actually working night shift tonight, Sunday night. Um, I'm only working till half two in the morning. So I will be up kind of mid-morning, I think. So the early riser, no, because, well, I just can't. Yeah, you know, I will be in my bed because I'll have been working until early morning. So that one I won't be able to do when it's, I mean, this is just a guide. You don't have to. She's not like cracking the whip and making you do it. Um, but I will try and do it as soon as I get up. So it'll probably be before lunchtime. Uh, this one, the Tuesday is just afternoon stretch. Uh, the Wednesday is night out. Thursday is your choice. And then Friday um, is just really trying trying out what you think is your best time and this challenge is really just to see try different times different sprint lengths maybe ones you haven't if you're a writer already and do sprints like i am if there's maybe a different time of the day that you didn't really think would work for you but uh, when, when you've done this challenge it actually has so and then over the page is just you know a little day one day two and just goes on like that so i will be doing a little short vlog there we go that's just oh congratulations um i have enjoyed heart breathe the heart breathing's channel pretty much since it started i've been quite lucky to find her early on and some of the planning the planning videos especially I really love because I'm a bit of a planner myself. I have tried different ways, but I think I've finally figured out my own. So in saying that, so speaking of planning, I want to show you this as well. This is my writer's notebook. And uh, I've just kept it very simple. I have loved Sarah's, you know, her planning videos. But I've kept mine simple. I've finally figured out a way that works for me, but... This is my sort of writer's bullet journal in a traveller's notebook style, which I made myself, which I'm quite proud of. Um, and I think I will put a spread in here uh, for, for this challenge. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you once I've okay, finished my bullet journal spread. I'll just give you a look through, but I'll point out to you, I've just used these tables here just to uh, fill in my spread and this is the spread in my it's a very shaky table i'm sorry about that um so yeah so all i've done is just hb word sprint chance i did a little mistake to say there so that's why there's a love heart and uh, i had these stickers as you can see here i had all different colored ones i thought oh they would be perfect for this little spread because pink is sort of the main colour in the heart breathings um, channel so I just used um, you know stamping did the table so that it's like the number of sprints I've been able to fill in these two and I'm day three and um, because they're pretty straightforward I don't I haven't done the times because like I said tomorrow I'm night shift tonight so that really will depend when I get up, but I will try and do it as early as I possibly can. That one as well, I think that was the afternoons. Um, so I'll just work out the time for that, that it's early even. So those other two I've just left just now, so I'll work it, I'll have to go over my rota and work it. It should be fine. The one that's early evening, I, was, I wasn't sure about that one because then i'm back on to day shift but my day shift starts at five o'clock in the morning so i'm early to bed 
it's a bit of a bugger and like this has just been a week where they've changed all my rotor just to fit in with training somebody and all that sort of thing so it's a mix of night shift and day shift which is horrible um because at my age <laughs> all that sort of thing is quite hard going but what can you do it's, it's a job so there we are it's quite straightforward and simple i've just put the tables in there's like the number of sprints the length the start and the words just like what's in the uh, the workbook so it's just like what's in the workbook i've put on there and uh, i'll look forward to well i'll look forward to doing this but i'll also look forward to hearing how everybody else does in the facebook group okay bye morning everyone i'm about to start this uh heart breathings word sprint channel channel challenge sorry um for day one this is where i've uh, i've not been able to do like start with the challenge early riser three minute morning st sprints before 10 a.m that last 10 minutes each take a five minute break between each sprint and record your progress um it is just just after 10 o'clock just now um my problem was that uh i work night shift so i say it's just just after 10 in the morning just now that's why you see how this these are my pajamas this is how early it is for me it might not be for everybody else but it's early for me um so yeah <laughs> i'm not even being able it's lovely i've given you the full horror this morning uh so yeah it's just how it, so i'm not too late in doing it which is fine and it was never strict, you know, it was, it was as and when you can do it. The point is of this challenge is to try different times of the day and different lengths of sprints. Um, so I use this. And I showed you just in the previous, um, that 10k challenge I did. This is the forest app. And you can adjust the times to whatever. So this is 10 minute sprints. And uh, I will be using that just to keep an eye on, well, my sprint, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get started. Hey, right, so this is day two of the Heart Breathing's Word Sprint channel. So, um, like I say, yesterday wasn't too bad. Um, not a fan of the 10-minute sprints, I have to say. But today... We have the challenge afternoon stretch two afternoon sprints between lunch and dinner that last 25 minutes each take a 10 minute break between sprints and record your progress so i'll actually do three three um 25 minutes is um something i do I, i'm more um familiar with that because that is the the amount of sprints the amount of time I do in the sprints. My goodness, can't do the words today. Um, so I will set. Let me set my forest app for the 25 minutes. So I have that set for 25 minutes. So let's get started. So for that little 25 minute sprint, I got a total of 1,026 words. So I'm just going to put that down. Um, I'm going to continue. Uh, I have my 10 minute break. And then I will continue with the other two. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow in another quick little vlog. I think tomorrow, before you go... Day three is oh night owl. That's evening sprints, um, after dinner, before bed. That lasts fifteen minutes each with a five minute break. Um, that one I'm not used to doing. I'm not really a, an evening writer. At least I've not been in the past. So that'll be interesting. Sorry, I keep doing that. I'm just shaking it and always reflecting. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so that will be an interesting challenge because I'm not really a night time person. I usually write mid morning to mid afternoon, and it's usually the 25 minute sprints like I've just done. So yeah, but that's part of the challenge is to find new times of the day, new sprint length. So we'll see how it goes. Day three okay. of the word sprint challenge, and today's challenge was um, night owl three evening sprints after dinner or before bed that last 15 minutes each and take a five minute break um this evening says so i've already done it uh, there's no point in me showing you i figured that it's not necessary to show you me typing essential so i'll tell you the aftermath um i've never done well, I've not really done much evening write, writing. I find that um, because I'm an early riser and I'm early to bed, because of usually due to my work, um, I'm pretty tired come dinner time and, you know, have my dinner and then I just relax for what little I have left of the evening before I have to go back to my bed. So, um, yes, evening ones weren't as productive I thought because <laughs> and it's not helped that I've, today it was my day off tech well kind of I finished like my, my last night shift the early hours of this morning and then I'll be starting at five in the morning tomorrow so I will be early to bed so um, yeah this week just my hours have all been a, a bit messed up but uh, I'm getting there so yes, early evenings or even night owls, I've never, I've never been a night owl and um, these ones, you know, not as productive as yesterday when I was doing like the afternoon 25 minute sprints, that's more like what I usually do. So that was day three and tomorrow's is, uh, tomorrow is your choice. And um, I have an idea for what I want to do. But that was day four. Not as productive as yesterday, but it was still a good so day. So today on the Heart Breathing's Word Sprint Challenge, I think that's the first day I've actually managed to say challenge and not channel. Um, so we are on day four. And the challenge today is you choose a time of day you want to try. Uh, then choose a time length for your sprints and breaks. Record your progress and see how you feel. Now, um, when I did the 10k, 10k words in a day challenge on Saturday there, I seem to be up for the challenges this week. Um, that was thought up by Mandy Lynn. And the sprints she was doing were 45 minutes. So you start on the hour for 45 minutes and then had a 15 minute break. And I thought that was really quite a good, you know, a good length of time because I quite like the longer ones. As I'm not always used to doing word sprints, sometimes I just sit down and write for as long as I can. Um, and I'm trying to do incorporate sprints more because I think it's important, like a lot of authors have been saying, um, to have that break in between, get up, stretch, just kind of move because you're always sitting, you know, over a keyboard. So that's what I want. So I want to try these 45 minute sprints with a 15 minute break in between. And I'm just going to be doing two just to see how they go. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing for today. Um, hopefully things are going well for everybody else. And uh, at the end of this little vlog, daily vlog, I've got one more day to go. Tomorrow is, um, what are we doing tomorrow? Is sprint boss and that's again that's just testing out your ideal writing time so I can think about that see if today works and then maybe that will be the new writing length we'll see but that is a uh, what I'll be doing today so it's about yep one o'clock I need to get started I'm a couple of minutes late and uh, we'll so this has this been day five of the heart breathings Bird Sprint Challenge. Got it right today again. Um, so yeah, today I just, I thought I would try because it was sort of trying to work out your best time. You've done sort of the, the sprints 
that were down in the workbook and then a day of doing your own um your own choice of word sprint and then today it was so combining your um it was your best spring sprint length based on your average work work words per minute um so i wanted to try well i have tried today um, i've just done the first lot with sprints now i'll carry on um i did a 10 minute warm-up because i did like i i like the 10 minute sprints but i didn't think they were long enough but i thought they would be good for a warm-up so i've tried the 10 minute sprints had a five minute break and then i've done a 20 minute sprint and i'll have 10 minutes break but i won't do another warm-up I'll just do like two 20 minute sprints so it's like 10 minute warm, warm up, 5 minute break, 20 minute sprint, 10 minute break, 20 minute sprint, 10 minute break. And then I continue that as for as long as I want but I just did like those three um, and I found that that was quite good especially the 10 minute warm up because I'd never thought of doing that before and I was thinking I'd either use that 10 minutes as a warm-up or for either writing actual writing typing or maybe um, just taking notes for what I need to do that day because that's how I've managed to do that's how I managed to get writing done without having to stop and start because I took I'm sure it was Rachel Arnon in her 2k to 10k book if you just write down what you need to do the following day when if you finish your day's work then it write, write down what you need to get done for day, what scenes, you know, what needs to happen, that sort of thing. And that's how I've, um, that's how I work. So I found that very beneficial because it stops me just staring at the screen for large chunks of time. I still stare at the screen, but it's a little bit shorter. My thoughts on this, this has been quite beneficial. Um, it has worked out for me Try different lengths. Uh, the very early morning, well, I am an early riser, but unfortunately this week I was on night shift, so that kind of put pay to that. What I usually try and write when I have a day off is sort of mid morning to mid afternoon. Um, so that was kind of okay if I wasn't on night shift, but it's more than normal. The afternoon one, yep, that was fine. That was, uh, again, that was normal for me. The evening one though, no, I didn't I'm not a night owl and usually by that time of day I I've pretty much had it. <laughs> you know, I'm tired mentally and physically. And uh, day four was quite a good one. I wanted to try that. There was the 45 minutes when I tried. Um that was maybe a bit too long because it was starting to if I haven't got a burst of inspiration that keeps you ploughing through then it gets that's a bit long so um yes i think the 25 minute sprints they're the perfect length for me uh so i've enjoyed doing this sprint it certainly get let me try the different times the different lengths and i've realized that i've pretty much got it down to what i what i can do anyway and that's been it. I hope everybody else that did this challenge had a great time and thank you Sarah for hosting this challenge for us and giving us a workbook to print off and uh, I will have another video up shortly. Okay, bye.